what's unique about this industry is that because it's regulatory, and there are many other industries that are regulated, insurance, banking, financial services, uh, transportation, where a large volume of data is available. But what makes uh, licenses a little bit of a walled garden is that the understanding of this data and understanding how long it has to be preserved and how it needs to be collected and how it needs to be consumed is very specific to this industry. And this industry has its own quirks. So one of the my favorite uh, case to talk about how this industry is different, this is the only industry where no one can define who the customer is. Typically in, a, in a, any business, a customer is someone who buys your product, consumes the product, and pays for the product. And this is the industry where no single entity, whether it's a patient, a healthcare uh, physician, a pair, actually makes all those three decisions. So it becomes a highly competitive and a very complicated industry. This industry has always been blessed with data because of regulation and, and, and so on. And as more and more parts of the healthcare gets digitized, there is increased uh, amount of data. So data collection has never been a challenge, but actually as the volume grows, you know, how do you actually analyze the data, store the data, and the data security becomes important. Five years ago, the trend started, started on the cloud. I think for the most part, a lot of those discussions are now thinking about how do we leverage the cloud and analytics to get better insights and putting this thing directly into the, the business operations, whether it's clinical trials, whether it's supply chain, whether it's manufacturing, whether it's uh, commercialization, and putting that in the hands of the business decision makers. So this industry, because of the DNA of the industry is so innovative, that it, obviously it has to be very risk managed, but it is very innovative that it has actually moved faster than most of the industries in adoption, uh, adoption of these models and these technologies. It's great to see that AI is basically becoming more mainstream, uh, but if you look at most of the AI uh, from an algorithmic perspective, it is not new. It's been around for decades. Um, what is new? is actually computing horsepower and availability of data. So uh, it again leads back to the data and this availability of data. And with the cloud, what you actually have is now the computing horsepower. So if I give you a very simple example, um, in the area of rare diseases where each, the value of each customer is very, very high and you still, and you have no idea where the customer is going to come in. And if you were to use some kind of a Bayesian model and model each patient and each physician in the network, in the country, and predict where the next patient is going to pop up. Just a simple thing about doing this Bayesian analysis was not possible three years ago. The computing horsepower was not available. Now, with the cloud being available, you can actually run these models and actually model this thing and actually use AI techniques to predict where the next patient is going to come through the door so that you can be positioned to basically service that patient. So, the application of AI is becoming very popular and there are a ton of applications or use cases in all aspects of what the pharma is doing from data, uh, data processing to data quality to data validation to actually consuming this data. But what is the secret behind all of this is actually the cloud and the collecting, collection of data that's been happening for a while. Earlier I talked about it, this is a unique industry which doesn't, can, can't define its customer because a patient who consumes, the healthcare, pros, uh, uh, healthcare professional who decides, and a payer who pays. Now, so it's a complicated ecosystem. Understanding customer 360 is actually stitching the data all around that customer and then using analytics to understand what the needs of that customer is so you can fulfill it. Whether it's education, whether it's training, whether it's fulfillment, whether it is discovery, diagnosis, treatment, all of that. And today, the data is there from claims data, electronic medical records, all of those social media, all of that. Collecting of all that and then ability to actually analyze this by putting the interest of the customer in the middle is basically what the pharma is currently working on. And I can see pharma making leaps and bounds 
uh, progress in actually leveraging data and analytics to address those customers' needs.